In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a bottom sheet. A bottom sheet is nothing but a layout. A small part of this layout is shown on the bottom of the screen. When the user uses this small part of the layout to swipe up, the entire layout is revealed. This is a very elegant way of displaying additional information. You might have seen it in the Uber app before. Let's see how it's done. First, we go to the application Gradle file and implement the Android support design library. Next, we're going to create an XML file. This is the XML file that will contain the layout of the bottom sheet. I've named it bottom underscore sheet. The root is the linear layout. And I'm going to add two parameters to this that will make it a bottom sheet. The first one is app behavior peak height. This is basically the part of the layout that you want the user to see before he or she swipes up. The next is app layout behavior. You will set it to android.support.design.widget.bottomsheet behavior. Now we are going to create two distinct layouts. The first will have the content that the user will see by default and the second will have the content that the user will see after he or she swipes up. Remember to set the height of the first layout the same as the peak height that you had given before. In my case, both these layouts are text views, but you can go ahead and experiment and have more complex layouts. We have now successfully created the bottom sheet of our application. Now we're going to go ahead and include this into the main activities XML. The root of my activity main XML file is a coordinator layout. Since we want the bottom sheet to be at the bottom of this layout, we're going to include it last. We're going to do that by using the include tag. Mention the name of the layout of your bottom sheet right here. Above this include tag, we're going to have all the widgets that the user would normally see in this activity. In our case, we just have one text view. Let's move on to the Java part of it. Setting up the bottom sheet in the Java file is pretty straightforward. First, we initialize the bottom sheet. Next, we create an object of the bottom sheet behavior class. We use this object to control the behavior of the bottom sheet. By behavior, I mean various parameters such as peak height, hideable, bottom sheet callback, bottom sheet state and much more. There are three states that a bottom sheet can be in. State collapsed, state expanded and state hidden. State collapsed is the state where you can see the peakable height of the bottom sheet. State expanded is where you can see the entire bottom sheet itself. And state hidden is when you cannot see it at all. We can control the state by using the bottom sheet behavior object. Bottom sheet behavior dot set state, bottom sheet behavior dot state collapsed. In the same way, we can state if the bottom sheet can be hideable or not. In this case, we have set it to false. I've mentioned three states that the bottom sheet can be in. Now, if the bottom sheet changes from one state to the other, and if you want to perform some action, that can be done through the set bottom sheet callback. It overrides two functions, on state changed and on slide. Inside the on state changed function, you have the new state of the bottom sheet. In our case, we are checking if the new state is expanded or collapsed. And according to that, we are displaying a toast. And in on slide function, you have the float value slide offset. That tells you how much the user has slided the bottom sheet. That's about it. Your bottom sheet is all set up. Let's see it in action. As you can see, the bottom sheet is in its collapsed state when you open the application. The new state of the bottom sheet is now expanded, which is exactly what it shows in the toast. The link to the source code of the sample application is available in the description below. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe for more on point videos just like this one.